you know, I I started boxing at the age of eight, uh, just like a sport, you know, just mainly just to go have fun and to uh, meet some friends. I was I was always very quiet and shy, and the gym just opened up in the and in the community of Avenal, and my dad signed me up to go, just cause, just cause he knew I had I had a lot of energy. Uh, and then it was within, I mean it was it was within a month and a half I got my license, my USA boxing license, and I got my first fight two months later. Um, and I in the first fight I won and and got you know got the biggest trophy I've I've uh, ever seen before. Um, I used to play a lot of sports too. I used to play baseball, soccer. I used to run. But uh, but boxing was just you know something that I kind of like. It kind of I can I mean I like the whole the whole the whole thing of it you know um, being the only one inside that ring not having to count on you know lazy people you know and and, and it be just me you know and and but then the, you know it also be I will also get more nervous obviously it wasn't something that oh. You know, it's gonna. Have, I'm gonna go out there and have fun. It was more like, you know, since since an early age, I just kind of took it very serious, and and I was always very, you know, uh, nervous, uh, just with just the, just of the thought of losing and being embarrassed. Um, but yeah, that made me push myself, you know, and and then I, you know, going to going to the state. That's when I realized, okay, you know, I had I had potential, and then. Really, when I went to my first nationals at, at the age of 11 or 12 years old, um, you know, it, it took me a while to get to nationals just because I was the first in my family to box and boxing was kind of new in Avenal, so, you know, it wasn't that easy for me to make it to nationals, but I made it to nationals and one, once I made it that far, I realized, you know, that my, that my talent wasn't too far away from the best out there, so. I think it was just an early, an early age that it kind of grew in me more than just a sport. Uh, very good fighter, just very aggressive, uh, very good condition, never gets tired, wants to fight every minute of every round. Great body puncher lately, um, doing really, really well. Um, progressing all the time, getting better all the time, and looking forward to winning this title fight. Having us home, you know, having us um, the, the little town that, that gave me just all the love and support that I needed to to make it this far, um, from you know, from my neighbors, my friends, my family, from the work work ethic, from their principles and ethics, you know, it just it, it made me who I am. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm I'm honored to be from a small community like Avenal. You know, I got in, got in so many awards like you know, like Avenal's favorite son. So you know, I think that's that's a that's a good award. You know, that fits that question is. I think I'm, I'm, you know, I think everybody sees me like a, like a family member in Avenal, you know? Everybody sees me like a friend, you know? Um, someone that, that brings joy to the community, I could say, you know? Uh, brings a lot of, I bring a lot of, you know, pride to, to my people in, in Avenal. And, uh, you know, likewise, they're my motivation too, and I look at them like my families, like my family members, like my friends. Of course, I mean, you know, not too many people in the world can draw crowds that big, and uh, it's great that he does that. And it's, uh, and it's very, relatively a, a small town, but it's, uh, every, everyone comes, and to have those people behind you is 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 great, 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 great for boxing fans everywhere. Pro immigrant proud. It's a campaign that you know that means that we're. We're from, we're from, we're immigrants, we're professionals, that's what we do, and we're proud. You know, we're proud of our culture and it's not gonna go anywhere, you know? We're not gonna hide it from no one, it doesn't matter where. I'm talking about all, all immigrants, you know, it it's not just Mexico, it's not just the Hispanics, it's also the Latinos, the, you know, it's also the, the Europeans, um, and everyone around the world, you know, even Asia, you know, and, and um, you know, we're, we're here for those that, that work hard, um, that pay their taxes, that are part of the communities, um, you know, and then they, they're professionals at what they do, you know, if it's working in the fields, working in the, the manufacturer, working in the food products, working in construction, uh, working in, in business, uh, it's just everyone that's out there that, that, that knows that they came from, from an immigrant family or, they, or immigrants themselves and, and came here to be successful and make this country 
uh, really what it is. You know, it's a united, it's a united country. Um, you know, and it's it's a, it's a country that became this powerful because of because of the union of of a lot of different immigrants and different cultures bringing this country together. You know, I think it's, it's you know we've forgotten a, uh, we've forgotten a little bit of of that. You know, and then we gotta we gotta stay united. We can't be divided just because you know you might see negative comments from certain people or politicians or even the president. You know, we can't get that. We can't get that. Bring us bring 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 us down. You know, we gotta stay. We gotta stay. We gotta stay with our head up high. We gotta be proud of who we are, and we gotta represent. You know, and be the voice for those that can't that can't speak for themselves. You know, those who are too afraid to you know come out and 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 uh, really you know uh, defend themselves. So we gotta definitely be be you know be that voice for the people. Be be the voice for our neighbors. You know, because we know who they are and we know the type of people they are, and, and we gotta really support them. Support each other, unite each other. That's the only way we're gonna make this this country successful. And we could, man. We could we could win this. We could just win this fight. You know, to to you know win win for for immigration for a comprehensive immigration reform. You know, and a a reform that's gonna help everybody live in peace more than anything. You know, help everybody um, be here comfortable. Those that deserve it. You know, those who work hard. Those who who like I said are part of the community. Pay their taxes. Uh, you know, how about the economy here in the United States, you know? Um, we gotta, that's, that's what we're fighting for. That's what the campaign is, is fighting for, for an immigration reform. In a way, you know, I, I haven't really thought about it as, a, as my career was going, you know, being involved with this causes. But now that I'm, I'm one step away from becoming the world champion, I kind of have that in my mind, you know? It's, it's, um, it's, you know, do I have to win to continue to, to have that powerful voice, you know, for those to believe in me, you know, do I have to win? But uh, but then at the same time, you know, I kind of took a step back and and kind of just believe on the people, you know, believe on on them, and I'm sure they believe in me, you know, for the positives, you know. Um, and no matter what happens, I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be the world champion for a lot of people. So that kind that kind of keeps me in some more peace. But then again, but but I do ask myself that question, you know, if you know if if I don't do if, if it doesn't go according to plan. You know, am I in my am, am I gonna lose the if my word if my word is gonna is it gonna lose value? You know, it, um who knows, you know? Um it might to some people, but not to everybody, you know? And and I I believe in I believe in my community, I believe in the people out there and I believe that they're they really support you know, these causes that I support, that I get behind of and no matter what happens, like I said, I'm sure I'll still be the champion for them. And I will continue to fight for them, no matter what. And I was always embarrassed to lose or or to kind of be, or to be, you know, to come close. You know, I, I hated the fact that I came close and I, and I won, you know, and, and or not get there all the way. So I kind of put myself that, that motivation in me to, to keep going, keep going, and it grew in me. It grew in me and then I just, I inspired myself when, when I kept accomplishing more things at a, at a, at a uh, younger age. And then obviously the motivation and the support came and my family support since day one uh, really helped me be inspired in my dream and, and that's to become the world champion. Um, you know, when I, when I won my first actual, you know, you could say legitimate nationals, which is when you win the, US, the USA, uh, you know, the, the Junior Olympics or, or even the US Men's Opens. Uh, when you win that, that, that championship, that, that kind of, that, that, you know, that, that, that inspired me that I, that I could be the best, you know, because are the best world champions that I've seen. I went through the same route, you know, went through the same tournaments and won the same tournaments, so that inspired me a lot. Uh, you know, um, hopefully five years from now, you know, I, hopefully I'm, you know, I continue being undefeated. Uh, I continue being, uh, or, or I'm at the you know the, in the in the list of the top fighters in the world, someone who people you know people could say hey, you know what uh, um he you know for people from Avenal hey was there a Maris? you know he came out of Avenal tell you know I could hear someone telling their kids you know uh, five years from now because of where they, where they see me you know and I hope to be in a place where obviously my family is well set um, you know where I don't have to work. 
<laughs> one day more in my life, you know. And but I, but five years from now goes by so fast. So I'm sure I'm still be very hungry to continue being, you know, the best out there. And maybe in five years from now I could be a, you know, two to three div different division world champion.